you're struggling to get your book noticed on Amazon, or if you are looking to rank your book to get more sales, this video is for you. My name is Jenny Hanson Lane, and a lot of my content is about making passive income. So this video is if, for you if you want to boost sales and build that brand on that Amazon platform. The most important thing we're going to talk about in secrets to boosting your Amazon ranking is not to overcomplicate the process. You'll learn from my mistakes at the end of the video of what not to do. And there's a surprise at the end too, because learning can come through failure and you're going to learn from my failure. Okay. So let's talk about first things first. The most important thing is understanding that there are so many, so many books on Amazon and you don't want your book to be lost in the sea of Amazon books, right? So it's really about optimization. Okay. Along with these steps that I'm going to share with you. So I don't want you to try to rank a book that you haven't even really thought about unless you have a really big audience, then you're gold. Okay. They might. We're talking about maximizing conversions though. So understanding that you need to use the correct metadata and keywords and categories is really going to help. And it's actually against the rules to list a book in a category that doesn't match because Amazon's number one goal is they don't want a misleading experience for customers. More people have been surveyed that say they trust Amazon more than other online retailers. Amazon takes that very seriously. So if you're new to my channel or KDP, Amazon stands for Kindle, you know, KDP stands for Kindle direct publishing. It's a platform where you can publish basically anything that you want. And Amazon does all the shipping and fulfillment. And one of the reasons why it's important to rank is because if you can get in the top 10 of a category, people are searching by category already and they want to see what the best selling book is because they want to stay up on trends. So maximizing your book's visibility can happen by using the right keywords, having a really good description and using reviews. And I've talked about this in other videos that <clears throat> part of me that you can do your part. Some things are out of your control, but with ranking, it's not out of your control. Maybe you need to increase your skill set, but it doesn't mean that it can't happen for you. Okay. So knowing that Amazon takes these things into consideration the keywords, the description and reviews. Okay. You can sell a lot of books without reviews. You guys have heard me talk about over 400 books I've published and I have under 200 reviews across all the books. <clears throat> Pardon me. So don't let that discourage you from going out and doing that. You guys also know that, uh, I believe that offense is the best defense. Like let's score to get ahead versus standing in front of the goal, trying to stop oncoming targets. <clears throat> Maybe that's the college soccer player in me. I played offense. I played forward. I'm left footed. Like people just don't expect that. And that's what offense is for Amazon KDP. Book visibility comes from using keywords. Okay. Offensively, this means words that are actually being searched for and having a really good description. Some people don't even do that good with descriptions. It's a really important part because Amazon uses that for their search engine optimization. Interesting insight. If you Google my name, if you go to google.com, you type in Jenny Hanson Lane, guess what the first result is? <laughs> You're right. It's Amazon. It's Canadian. It's my Amazon profile in Canada. Isn't that crazy? That's before my website. That's before my YouTube. That's before any other social media platform. Amazon has such a good ranking system that once it is a skill set you want to learn, because if you have this superpower, you're going to do it again and again and again and again and again. And you want to change your life, right? So this is like learning the steps is the way to get there. So when we talk about ranking, we're talking about that we have good titles, we have good subtitles, we have good descriptions. Okay. These are just like the fundamental things. You're probably like, get to the point where we talk about ranking. 
This is the foundation of ranking. So one of the most important things that you can do if you have a book that you can do in Kindle is this is for medium and high content is that you can have your book go live, but you still have a couple days before people can buy it. Okay. So that's the pre-order option. Some of you might be thinking like, I don't have a book that I want to do pre-order with. Okay. Let's move on. The other thing that we can do, which I've talked about is that relevant keyword. Now, an interesting thing about Amazon is that you can start ranking by reviews. You guys have heard that I don't have tons of reviews, but when I was learning about this process and saw examples, I saw that you can boost rankings by having people review. So if you have a big audience and you have them review your book, it's going to help so much. Now, most of you that are watching this might be starting for new where you're like, I don't have a huge audience. And so there's other things that you can do by leveraging social media, family and friends. I've been able to, I ranked it. I'm going to share with you the mistakes, but also how I ranked my best-selling book, the radical authenticity guide that I wrote at the end of 2022 and launched it. Okay. So think about leveraging social media to promote your book and connect with readers. There's so many websites that you can, there's Booksprout. You can put your book on there to get reviews. I have had a bad experience with Booksprout because of, I could do a whole different video on it. But the reason why it was a bad experience is because someone that doesn't know me well left a bad review and it's their opinion. They're entitled to that. But I was like, why didn't I leverage more of the people that like, know, and trust me? Okay. So like engaging with your audience and building a community is a great way to keep the rankings up there. But let's be devil's advocate. Jenny, what if I don't have social media? What if I'm doing KDP because I don't want to be the face of my business? Okay, let's, let's figure it out. Let's go through this. Okay, here's some mistakes that I made. I'm grateful for all the mistakes that I made because they have taught me a lot. I can still regret mistakes and be grateful for them at the same time. I think that's important. I don't have a lot of regrets, but I just don't want you to get so hung up mentally in your mind, in your mind space, in your heart, in your mind about mistakes. Look at them as just opportunities to get better. Like these are things that I'll never do again because I learned, right? And I do want to write another book. So these, you know, even recording this video will help me not to repeat the same steps. Okay. So mistakes that I made is, um, I didn't get my street team together first. Rachel Harrison's son teaches this. And she talks about having people that are going to be excited about promoting your book. So this could be your best friends from high school. This could be your book club. This could be people on your email list. These could be your mentor or coach. These could be your cousins. Like you think of people that can help you promote your book. I didn't really do that. I just like launched it to my email list as fast as I could. Okay. So the other mistake I made is that right when my book published, I didn't buy it and get it in the mail and look at it before I set up a launch date. The launch date was the day it went live. So it was just hard, fast feet on the pavement. It just didn't need to be so crazy. Like I made it like, Oh, there's an urgency, blah, 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 blah. Like, cause it was my first time. I didn't know what I was doing. I really didn't have anyone that was like, let me walk you through this. Let me talk to you every day. It was kind of like I took courses and they were just like, okay, this is what you do. But there wasn't any hand holding, and I would have loved the hand holding. So if I was holding someone's hand, I would have been like, okay, we're not going to, you're going to launch your book on May 1st, but we're going to get it published April 20th and you're going to buy copies and you're going to have your family buy copies or we're going to get copies in the mail. We're going to take pictures of it. We're going to have social media marketing assets so we can look at it, fill it and think about how we want our launch to go. So buy your book and inspect it. This is also for low content and medium content. I think when you have your book in your hand, it gives you more ideas, but also it you're looking at it like, is this the best the book could be? I have regrets with that. Like I love my book. I'm grateful I did it. It's kind of like you have a baby and I'm like, okay, time to grow a new baby. Like there's not, I'm a very imperfect action type of girl. So the likelihood of me being like, I got to go back and make this better and better and better and better. Like the same book. That's just not how I am. I'm like, let's learn. Let's move on. Let's go. 
So um, the other thing is, just as I mentioned, like your launch day should be planned out. So, so think about this. If your book launches on a certain day, it publishes on a certain day because Amazon says, give us anywhere from like four hours to 72 hours, but low content is 10 days before it can publish. You need to plan accordingly because you don't know exactly when Amazon's going to publish it. So for your marketing, you don't necessarily want to be like, this is available March 1st and then, um, or this is available May 1st and then Amazon publishes it May 2nd, right? So just be more thoughtful about your offensive attack. Like me, just, oh, I will always take fast action and therefore I will always fail and have mistakes and I will always learn and I will always share that with you guys. And last week, uh, a digital marketer, a female digital marketer called me courageous. And I thought it was a really interesting word because I don't feel courageous, but she's like, you just take action. You just go. And that's kind of how I am. I was actually playing laser tag with my kids this weekend. It was the first time that our whole family was old enough to be in an arena together. My six-year-old is now over 48 inches. And um, they had a rule, like no running. And I was like, man, anyways, I'm like a very offensive attacker. Like I'll go die going on the line for you. That's just like the type of person I am. Like, I'm just going to go for it. Okay. So that's why I always have so many mistakes and lessons learned. Okay. So the good news, here's the good news. Wake up. Here's the good news. You can still make mistakes and rank your book. So this is the interesting thing with Amazon is, um, I emailed my list. I talked about it on social media. You have the book, you have the opportunity to do um, what's called a free book promotion on Amazon. It's where you do a Kindle and you make the book free for five days and those count as downloads. So when people download your book, that counts as a verified purchase. Those people can go then leave reviews. And so when I launched my book, I told my list about it. I asked my friends, I talked about it. The Amazon BSR, the best selling rank happens every hour. It's updated every single hour. So all you need is one hour of serious, serious promotion and marketing to get your book to become a bestseller. And if you guys need to see my stats, I did that for direct global marketing in two categories. I ranked, I ranked my book best selling number one. And I ranked amongst my peer against like people that I love to follow and that I look up to so much like Alex Hermosi and Russell Brunson and Amy Porterfield. Now their books are still ranking, right? Cause they've built this huge legacy and I'm just starting, but it's okay for me to have a benchmark to look to. And it's okay to, for me to be like, Oh, I worked really hard in my offensive marketing plan. And look where I got for that day. Like I did it now my goal would be like to do it for longer, right? If you've ever followed the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, he's still ranking after years. And it's because he put his life work into that book. He spent a long time and he's really well known on Twitter. And that's kind of what turned me on to Twitter. So I'm hoping for my next book launch, I'm going to have a stronger street team. And my book's going to stay at a bestseller longer than a couple days. So you'll see that you'll see that journey. But essentially, you need the purchases, you, you pick your launch day, but then you pick that hour and you communicate to everybody that that's when you need the sales. And that's how you can rank on Amazon. If you have any more questions about this process, like, and maybe you're writing a book, put it in the comments and subscribe so you can follow along and let me know what else I can do to help you guys rank your books. There is a bonus side, <clears throat> part of me that I didn't mention in this video because I didn't do it with my book, The Radical Authenticity Guide. And that is using ads. Ads have kept my low content books in the top 10. And that's a completely different way to rank. If you're interested in ranking with ads and ranking for a long time with ads, then put in the comments ranking with ads because it's different. For example, the book that I shared, the uh, Alex Hermosi has a book called The $100 Million Offer, and that book still ranks, and he doesn't use ads. The word of mouth is so powerful, has over 20,000 reviews. The book is so good. It's his life's work. That's not the same for all of us that are doing low content and medium content books. That may require us to do ads until we build up an email list to get more organic sales. But running ads increases organic sales. So... I love you guys. Peace out.